Two Jack Rose. Two Jack Rose. Lemar, do you drink a lot of water? I try to. I, I, I got I got a twenty four pack at Deer Park in my in the back of my trunk. I've been going through, and it's been nice. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. All right. I got to get one of those big. <laughs> those big water joints, you know, that tells yeah. you when to drink because yeah. I need uh, structure. You can tell he's at the beginning of <laughs> drinking water because he's, he's got a 24 pack. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's some rookie drinking water <laughs> shit. Yeah. Right there. I'm trying to retire soda, so I'm taking my time. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. good. It's good that you made the switch. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's a hard switch to it's make. It's such man. a hard switch. Good. People don't respect that switch. That's no. tough. <laughs> no. I didn't, even, I didn't even like soda. Really? I loved water. Yeah. And, and like cutting soda out completely yeah. was like, it was tough. No, I'm from Detroit and our water is made out of Fago. So like <laughs> we're, we're like supposed to drink soda. Wait, what is Fago? Fago's like, a, do you know the Insane Clown Posse? It's like wait, it's like cheap you, soda. You, wait, you you laughed like you knew what Fago was? There's no way you know what Fago is. <laughs> I know what the Insane Clown Posse is. Yeah, yeah but hold on, hold on. Stop <laughs> one second. Stop one second. It's bad. What's it's, Fago? Yeah. That's bad water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad water. Some of the times it's cotton candy. Sometimes it's blue. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, we're sitting here with Lemare Lee. Hello. Hanging out with the two Jack Bros. <laughs> yes. New to drinking water. The yeah. very new to drinking water, Lemare Lee. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to get Jack. Yeah. yeah. So you got to get one of those candy. You got to get a. You got to graduate to like something that like a portable water like bottle that is non-disposable yeah i had one but i gave it to my brother when he moved in he took it he took it when he moved out i think think you weren't ready to commit to drinking water at that point in your life you were like i'm not gonna be needing this i'm back on fago dude no you're absolutely right that's 100 percent what happened i'm about to drink some cnc 50 cent sodas hell yeah Yeah. hell yeah lamar lee you know him from ever he's everywhere Lamar Lee is everywhere. So, Lamar, do you know you know what we do on this podcast, right? Are you familiar with it at all? We get jacked. Well, uh, <laughs> something like that. We get mentally ripped. Basically. Yeah. basically. Yeah. We're going, we're, we take every guest through the process of enlightenment so mm. that we, the audience, and, of course, uh, us two can just uh, laugh at your process <laughs> while we get closer to enlightenment without having to go through the process that you're going through. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's we're Like fair. vicariously yeah. achieving enlightenment yeah. through our guests. Yeah. <laughs> that's bad. It feels good. Yeah. It does feel good. Yeah. Our fans like it. Yeah, that sounds sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I'm enlightened enough. I think you'll like this, man. This yeah. is the, Our whole podcast is based off of uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> and as an anime black, I feel like you yeah. would appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Water. Earth. Right? Yeah. This is the guru, the guru episode yeah. where Aang had to go to the guru and like yeah. unlock all his chakras. Yeah. That's basically what we do here. I'm ready. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> I'm, ready. Yeah, I'm, ready. I'm ready. Did you see a sword appear on his back? <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah. <laughs> he will not one. dishonor his family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm well, a warrior. Yeah. So everybody gets the same questions. Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, uh, you know, tell the truth and be truthful. is kind of our mantra here. But we're also having a good time because the premise of the podcast is to prove that you can have an inappropriate sense of humor, which <laughs> yeah. you do. Yeah. And still reach enlightenment, yeah. which you will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, the first question we like to ask everybody is um, what situation or experience has given you the most information? About like. <sighs> this is a good question about like people or like about like. Life. However, the the question hits you. Okay. Well, be true to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I think uh, there was two moments. I think when I was twenty three, I like willingly peed myself in a Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Can I get the other one before we get into that yeah. one first? I just want. I just wanna, yeah. <laughs> When I was twenty, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I was twenty-seven, a girl I was dating died. Yeah, those are the two incidents. I think. Okay. Yeah. Which one of those is funny? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> Which, <laughs> let me think they about can this. Both this be is, funny. This is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I peed myself in a wall. I was just like at the end of my like. I think I was just at the end of my mental rope. <laughs> I was just yeah. like 
this job fuck I was handing out snacks at a Walmart. You were working at a Walmart. Yeah, I was okay. yeah, I was <laughs> as an employee. No, not with at. full access to bathrooms. <laughs> secret bathrooms, employee bathrooms yeah. even. But the behind the scenes bathrooms. Yeah. And there's also yeah, it was my bathroom was the one in the aisle where the potato chips are. That was my bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not this. Not well. Bathroom. Yeah. There's a bathroom in the potato chip aisle. <laughs> Dude, you got to know a guy that knows a guy to know yeah. about these bathrooms. He was the guy you had to know who knew yeah. about these bathrooms. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I just had it. I don't know because it was like, it was like, were you going through? I'm a sick of these white people at this job moment. No, I was just broke and tired of it. And I was like, I'm doing this job. I'm here for six hours, and I'm still broke. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. And I had to really pee. And I was like. If I pee myself right now, nobody's gonna care. Who's no, gonna know? No one's. Cared? Nobody, cared. nobody cared. For how yeah. long did nobody care? I walked out the Walmart. I like successfully stood and you completed your. I completed your hours, my you urine. Your, <laughs> you finished, okay, you finished your urine. Did you also finish your shift? Oh no! It was after my shift. It wasn't like. <laughs> I feel like if I peed myself and went back to work, I'd be crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, if you're looking to scientifically prove whether or not people care, <laughs> pissing yourself on the way out yeah. the door isn't the way to do it. It's like, good thing he's leaving. <laughs> That's one of those things you don't say. No. It's like, whew, good thing that wasn't earlier. We would have to say something to him about it. Thank God he's going to his car. He'll sit down. He'll feel that. And then <laughs> and then we don't have to embarrass him in his Walmart. You know, you realize that, right? No. It, they, I mean, just for sci- objective scientific purposes. There was no saying. way they would have embarrassed me out of like oh you proved me wrong all right i'm sorry i guess I gotta yeah, but get they didn't pants. know they didn't know that like there was there's gonna come a time when the <laughs> man when the merrily is gonna piss his <laughs> pants and we're gonna be judging whether or not you say so they didn't, they yeah. didn't know so if that, they didn't know yeah they're they're going off of a whole other set of yeah. circumstances so, or a set of like a whole other context of logic yeah is what i'm saying so th- to them they could just be like i don't want to get involved in that yeah <laughs> he's on his way out there's no reason for me to fucking bring this up yeah you know i think that's what i was trying to that might have been like a part of it did you stop and talk to people for like longer no, than you should no i just i did just i walked out real slow i did walk out real slow <laughs> just so like just like, like you like knew you yeah like i knew I just, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was like somebody's going to say something. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, what would you no. say that you ha- distill what you learned from that experience? Uh, nobody cares about the context of your life. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's pretty wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. was great wisdom you learned from that experience. <laughs> and, uh, from pissing my black pants in a Walmart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, so you people had to like assess a, a stain of liquid on black pants. You're man, you were asking people a little too much. <laughs> sure, your blue jeans. Your fucking yeah. experiment you were running on society. It was just like it was. It was a. It was a. It was a uh, moment. A uh, uh, moment. Mom, mom, a moment. I don't know. I broke. I broke for a moment. It was a. It momentary a, a momentary mental break yeah okay. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah they, how yeah. was you you went to your car to drive home yeah it was how wet was that car ride <laughs> it was home? wet <laughs> it was wet i almost cried i was like why did i do this <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and you really expect people to jump in and be part of your momentary mental break <laughs> no i didn't, I didn't like, like as if people don't know what a mental break looks like we're avoiding mental no. breaks on the streets of philadelphia <laughs> stop just because it's cl- it's because it's close yeah. to home, we gotta say something now. Yeah. Uh. All right. So now, <laughs> when you said you were now you're 27 years old, mm-hmm. you're dating a girl, and she passed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she was my best what? friend. She was my best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we were talking for like a couple years, two or three, three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she came to my first comedy show, which was cool. Oh, that's pretty yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. So. I mean, you're young. She was young too. Yeah, we we're about the same age. Okay, you yeah. never know. Yeah, anime yeah. blacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. End up no. with some old bitches. Do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anime blacks? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they yeah. the weirdest chicks. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, you with that old bitch? <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's my fifty year old bitty. <laughs> yeah, that happens. It happens. So, um, clearly, did, was it an, as an accident or was it a, a something? No, it was um, pancreatitis. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. I think the doctor said her, like, the acid from her pancreas, like, I don't know, seeped in her bloodstream or something, and it just, like, went through her blood. For, like, two weeks, she was just, like, pumping, like, gross ass, septic acid. So she was, like, 
was going septic like a whole like in oh, yeah dear god yeah 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 that sounds all was it i mean she had a painful end yeah <laughs> yeah that's wild yeah and so yeah. you were engaging with the person that was like dying horrifically but we didn't know she went to the doctors a bunch too and they didn't like help her they just sent her back with like fluids like you got to clean your systems they'd send people home to do that yeah kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah they she said they gave her this yellow goop and sent her home and was like drink that huh. man that is it is what do you, how did she describe the pain if you remember well uh she was like i can't like walk <laughs> she's like it's just like searing pain yeah huh. did, were, were people like did you even have moments where you doubted the level of pain that she was expressing no i was just like you got to go to a hospital are you like listening to you or if they're not listening to you you got to go somewhere else yeah yeah and she tried to go back and yeah. they still just <laughs> yeah. send her home yeah holy cow yeah it's pretty Okay, so if you had to distill <laughs> what you learned from that experience, because I mean, there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because like, I would, like, I w- yeah. we could have a whole show on every question we ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what? How would you distill what you learned from that experience? Uh, I think just be happy and live the way live live with who you be with who you want to be with while you can enjoy their company. Have a good time with them. Uh, I can't think of like, there's more, but I can't like pull it up right now. Like, okay. it's just like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just, there's more than that. But yeah, like sometimes you just got to like move for yourself. And how 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 old are you now? 31. So that was 40 years ago. I yeah. did quick math. Good, quick math, math, dude. You're very welcome. <laughs> very welcome. Yeah, four years ago. So yeah. that's like, there's still wow. in that process. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. All right. You ready to open these damn chakras? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? From the head to the root. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Uh Lemaire, how did you learn to overcome fear? Mm. Mm. I feel like hmm. I don't know. I think my brother maybe, because he would just do stuff and I would like why I would I don't know. Cause like I feel like I'm still like some fears still get me, but sometimes you need to like, like I was afraid of airplanes for a long time. Like literally I would cry. My parents were like, we're going to Disney World. But as a kid, I was like, we can't go in the air. We're going to fall. Like, you yeah. know, like, and no, I, I like took your it. impression of yourself. <laughs> 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 going to fall. Yeah. And then I took an airplane to like San Francisco like a year ago. And I was like, this is fucking bad ass. Like, you know, I just yeah. like had to do it. So so don't know. no, don't take an airplane to go to the happiest place on earth. <laughs> yes, take an airplane to go do comedy for free at a festival yeah, or something. At, yeah. kind of at the like? gayest place on earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair. Dude, I got to hang out with seals. No, <laughs> it yeah. was yeah. I don't know. So what, really what, know. what? Can you think of a moment, the the t- a time you've been the most scared? Like when I say that to you, what what, what comes to mind first? When most scared? Oh, dude. I don't like shaking on the inside scared. Uh Okay. I was really high. <laughs> no. I was high on mushrooms. <laughs> and I was driving back from New York. <laughs> that was like the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> just like, I was just so scared. It's like just a like, 2 hour trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but I was like high on mushrooms the whole time. Just like, why did I do this? Like, what are you what are you going to gain from this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But you didn't stop. No, I got home. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't let my fear win. (laughs) (laughs) Was there ever a time where you felt like you let fear win? Uh, mm, I don't know. I still haven't boxed Naeem yet. So that's like fear's winning there. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So uh, Naeem is another comedian that Lemaire uh, came to my house and beat up one day. (laughs) In a mm-hmm. grappling match. Yeah. yeah. One of yeah. two comedians that Lemaire scheduled a grappling match with at my house. <laughs> <laughs> He's undefeated in this house. Yeah. We should yeah. we should put up a wall for Lemaire. Yeah. He should get his yeah. own wall. He's the most winning yeah, like, fighter in this house. Yeah. So one of his matches that he had was against a person that bo- has been boxing his whole entire life. But he wanted to you know, Lemaire was like, I bet I could fucking grapple you up. And he was like, yeah. no fucking possible way. <laughs> so much so yeah. that he was willing to come to this house and lose a fight to Lemaire in front of me. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, he's been. Uh, he wants some revenge. It was, well, it was supposed to be, it was one of those super fights that you, they, they, they say <laughs> the agreements like we'll do one in your arena and then one in my arena. So it's supposed to be oh, one so the grappling, was then one box. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I just gotta, I gotta commit to the other yeah. half. Yeah. So Lemare beat him up in grappling and was like, "Let me check out his Instagram and see what he does in boxing." <laughs> 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 Before I, he was like, "Oh shit, this dude." He boxes. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker boxing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have I signed up for? <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much I, it. Yeah, dude. But yeah. I, I, so after you beat him up, I, <laughs> I went and looked at his stuff. Yeah. And I was like, Lamar's going to get fucked up. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Why did he not look at this dude's shit before he made no, this man. agreement? No. Yeah. There's no way he looked at that shit before he made that. No, yeah. but no I'm still gonna way. do it though. I'm not gonna let the fear win. I just like haven't. Is he even like? Yeah, he doesn't put a date. No, 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 because he's he's not pressed. <laughs> he knows yeah. what's gonna happen. <laughs> 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 he's just enjoying the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I oh, I was talking to him the other because I wanna. Uh, I want to jujitsu or grapple or fight Mike Harrington at the next Gangs Fest or whatever. Okay. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a squad, a coaching crew together, and Naeem is gonna be my hands coach. And he was like, yeah, but you gotta box me first. And I was like, damn, <laughs> damn, fighter, fighter, fighter creeds, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're out yeah. there. You're, you're dealing with creeds and oaths and shit now, dog. You're in a different world now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is this is what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna pause on that chakra. I don't know if that chakra can be open yet until you fight Naeem. You gotta fight him. <laughs> yeah. You gotta fight him. Yeah. But we'll we'll say that's a semi open chakra. This is the first time this has ever happened, but you gotta let I you gotta let us film this fight. <laughs> <laughs> and like talk to you, like do a little a whole thing, yeah. like a whole thing on this fight. We'll put it on the Patreon, we'll have a good time with it. And um but yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> first time ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exciting. This is exciting. All right. So we're gonna go to the next uh chakra. That your anus chakra is closed. <laughs> Lucky you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we normally open those chakras tight, right man. here. But uh <laughs> yeah, but you're saying you're saying here right now that you're going yeah. to fight him. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am, I am. I'm not like yeah. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I am going to do it. I just like gotta do it. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean <laughs> yeah. at least you're able to acknowledge that there is a little fear associated yeah. with it. Yeah, right? no, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that alone yeah. should get him a little bit of an open chakra. Yeah, no, there's flow. Yeah. Flow through it. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Nothing is, you're not, you're not overcoming these things. That's not the goal of it. It's yeah. your everyday battle with it. Yeah. There's never an end to it. Because yeah. I, I feel like getting a guy to admit that like the reason he hasn't boxed a boxer yet <laughs> is because he's scared. I think he'd never admit that. He'd be like, oh, no, I just got this came up and this came right. up. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? No, but no, yeah. So, yeah, it's fucking yeah. terrifying. I'm going to be real. Yeah, yeah. it was, yeah. <laughs> I saw him running that, once. I was like, part of fear, right? Yeah. You said you saw him yeah. running once. I saw him. I saw <laughs> you him. ran the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's like an anime scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> he was just like out for a jog. Yeah. <laughs> like, so when you saw a video or you saw him in person? No, I saw a video of him running oh. once and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> you don't look tired at all. <laughs> This is like 20 minutes into a run, too. He was, so he's fucking not winded. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be yeah. exciting. We're going to get together. We're going to get our people together. We're going to set a date. We're going to make this happen. Um, you know, tap out if you have to. Don't fucking get dude, don't, don't, no, no heroes. No yeah. heroes. Okay. Right? Uh, so this next segment is uh, it's a really fun one. It's called My Bad. Right, and this is where you get to give an apology to any person, place, or thing in your life that needs an apology. Might not hear the apology, right? This person, place, or thing, yeah. but it's just something to get your energy back to neutral because you got that out of you. Well, I feel like this this is so embarrassing. But I called my girlfriend my old girlfriend's name twice, and I feel bad about that. Very bad. Pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. I'm a stupid idiot, dude. I'm a fucking stupid idiot. Twice, very recently. Yeah. Did like it, within like the last two months. Does it come from any place that would make her jealous or was it just like a... No, oops? for me, it was just like a oops, you yeah. know, because I was kind of drinking and high and I was like, oops, oh, fuck. I noticed it as soon as I was like, why did you do that, you fucking idiot? And, yeah. Yeah. But hmm. I would like to apologize for that. That's been... How recent How recent were the occurrences? Just and like, how, how, how recently after <laughs> one was the other? It was like... 
it was like August and then one and then maybe like two weeks later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it won't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is on my yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, dude, put my yeah. badge on that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh how did she react when you did no, that? No, very bad. <laughs> like it wasn't good for me, like upsetting. It was yeah, it was yeah, okay. it was just yeah. And just I just I just want to make sure that you weren't using no. it as any sort of diversionary tactic at all like you were trying to just like end an argument on another front no you know like any because like you know that, that yeah. is when you know that somebody has an explosive trigger yeah you can use that trigger yeah to it's like well i'd rather deal with this explosion yeah than have to deal with this vetting mm. you know yeah so no i'm not i'm not manipulative like that i wouldn't do that because i wouldn't want somebody to do that to me Okay, well, I mean, they never do. Yeah. <laughs> People that do that never yeah, like it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, I'm just, I, I just have to, no, you know, fair. this is, you know, yeah, yeah. For we were having a good for, time for an we're... objective, for an objective standpoint. If you're really yeah. getting this apology out there, I gotta ask these questions. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah, I That's... do mean it. <laughs> I mean yeah. it so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you were having a good yeah. time. Yeah. You like That's screeched the good even the end. worse. I, I it's so it's worse. So much worse. I know. Do you want to like go back and just say you did what I was saying before? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it was, yeah, yeah, it was a whole diversionary like, yeah, tactic. I'm just coming back. It was like, <laughs> I was trying to make our good time bad. Yeah, yeah no. that's wild because no, it's yeah. like that's almost you know I, I would imagine she can take that even more insulting. It's like, oh, when we're having fun, yeah. you remind me, of, I remind you of her. Yeah, no, you know? absolutely. Like, like, that's what fun. That's what fun reminds you yeah. of. Yeah, no, that's yeah. not that's not what it was. I okay. was just yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I was just uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't. It's not like. Are the names similar? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it's like a okay. I I, I don't want to say the names, but like, there's one big consonant that's pretty much the same. Okay. So there is a sound in the name that is the same. Is that it the like beginning it's, sound? No, it's. <sighs> God. I don't know how to like. I don't know how to like. I don't know. They, I'm they stupid, have the dude. same rhythm. I feel like I'm like mad retarded sometimes. <laughs> like I don't know. It's like yeah. was that, was that, was that your defense to your no, girlfriend? No, that was not mad retarded. That was my defense. No, no, no. Yeah, sometimes I feel yeah, like I'm just so, mad retarded. Yeah. I'm fucking mad. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm mad retarded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just I wasn't like. I don't know. It just slipped. All right, you know? man, that, that's a that's a heavy. I mean, thank Do you. Do you interact yeah. with your old girlfriend? Not at all. Uh, no. Was, <laughs> now, were those some of the questions that were asked? Yeah. Afterwards, like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, yeah. what other questions? A hundred percent. You think about her a lot? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, now we're in like the digital age. So yeah. You have to ask all those like, are you friends with her on Facebook? Nope. Are you like you Instagram with her? Nope. You have pictures of her on your phone? Nope. <laughs> not, none of it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank huh. you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could have done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Because for me, I'm like, yeah, he's mad retarded. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he said he's mad retarded. He's mad retarded. <laughs> That's what, that's what, that's, I think that's what my problem is. I'm like, I said I'm mad retarded. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, but I am sorry and I understand why. Yeah. And yeah. it's nice being a yeah. mom because, like, once you have enough kids, like, you can call anybody any name. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Call the dog the kids' names all the time. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's That's mad retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As it happens to moms, when a woman has yeah. a kid for the first time, she becomes mad retarded. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a chakra open, man. That's quite yeah. an apology. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you put, you, you put your business out there. People are yeah. gonna be using that to destroy you now, dude. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a clear conscience. Okay, he'll be yeah, stronger. It, it can't be he's used to destroy feed. you because yeah. you just put no, it out. There. I feel clear, yeah. but yeah. I also am like, wait. <laughs> <We did. laughs> no, but that was that's yeah, that was the big thing on my mind today. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad you. I'm glad you got that out of you. Yeah, yeah, because it's like I mean, what else can you do except like. Listen, I'll even say it publicly on uh, the the only podcast that does what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Two Jack Bros, the yeah. only podcast out there opening chakras and shit. It's a relationship. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. 
like the also the most diverse podcast. Hands down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Half of us black. <laughs> <laughs> Half of us women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that 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 ratio is like almost complete throughout your house. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 <laughs> we towed a line of diversity. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> when diversity calls. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're moving along. Uh, again, very good apology. I appreciate <laughs> you, you know, yeah. uh, making yourself vulnerable. I like meant that. it. <laughs> I do mean it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mad retarded defense. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lamar, what, what, what? How do you, how do you get past? How do you move beyond disappointment? Mm. I just try again. It's a numbers game for you. Yeah. But how do you even try again if you're disappointed in yourself? Like, how do you overcome that? That, like, uh, like, okay, put it this way: Would can you think of a time when you've been the most disappointed in yourself? <sighs> can we go back to that last thing? <laughs> <laughs> the first one or the second one? Man, which one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second one for sure. <laughs> The second one was the most disappointing because I was like, fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah no, but yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I've been disappointed. Um, I feel like uh, like I'm trying to get a, like a writing job and that's not working and that's been real disappointing. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to stop. Yeah. I'm going to just keep writing stuff and uh, get advice on the stuff that I am writing and then try to see if, I'll finally get a job, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't really, yeah. Yeah. Can you ever, can you think of a time when, you know, uh, rejection stopped you? Mm. You know, that like a time that rejection stopped you and you look back on it, it's like, man, if I was the guy that I was now, I would not have let that rejection stop me and, and things could have been different. Yeah. I was in seventh grade. We're doing Annie Junior to play. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> I only had I only had one line and I was like, psh, psh, I can't even sing, so I just I didn't go back. Wait, yeah. you didn't do your line? You no, fucked your line? I didn't. No, I didn't even. I didn't. Even, I did like three weeks of rehearsal, and then they were like, it was like play time, and I didn't go. You didn't show up for the play. Oh uh, my god, this no. is you fighting Naeem all over. Again. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, yeah. No, so that's wild. How did you not go to the play? Like, were your parents not taking you to the play? No, like, I just didn't. I just. They would have, but I was just like, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. Mm. Yeah. And looking back, like looking back now, are you disappointed in your choice of that? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it would have helped me be closer to this. I think you know. Uh, yeah. Was it about the people letting down the people in the play, or it's just about you? No, like it was all ego. You? My seventh grade ego. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, I'm better than them. So from that day on, like, th- did you remember how you felt making that choice? You Wait, know? Were you you were mad because you only had one line. Like, you thought you should have more lines. Yeah, I think so. And also, I couldn't sing, and it was a lot of singing. So I also understood uh, why I had one line. But I was like, "Fucking make me Daddy Warbucks or something." <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Sorry, what was your question? Uh, I don't remember. I was like, man, this is gonna be way better than my question. <laughs> just listen to what she's asking. <laughs> Let me just stop everything. It's like, yeah, this is probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's gonna ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but do you remember how it felt? How it made you feel? So you you don't go to the play. Was it the like a day of the play situation? No, because I stopped going to. There was probably like two weeks of rehearsals uh. left, and I was like, I'm not. I'm not gotcha. going because it was like after school. Yeah, and then I have to catch the bus home. How did you feel like the day you knew that the play was was uh, being run without yeah, you? I had the FOMO, you know, yeah. real big FOMO. Yeah, yeah. Like, and you did you so you is is that so that that then seems like it's your drive like what something that drives you that that experience not not experiencing that again is what drives you to keep going. Yeah, yeah. We got I there. Think so. Chakra open. We fucking got there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the line by any by any chance? Um, <laughs> why don't you come in? <laughs> <laughs> That's such an inviting line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be invited. I'm not. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you, you took away the inviting yeah. energy of a play, dude. Oh, you, think, you know who yeah. they replaced you with? No, I didn't even. After that, I was you just, just, I, just went yeah, I was done. Dude, he, he left school. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it was that was like the that was like the second song I remember because that was like the first big song. And I had the last line in the first big song, and I was like, or the second big, you know, like, yeah. It's when Daddy Warbucks takes Annie home. Uh-huh. And he's like, why don't you come in? And like, show her his beautiful home. Yeah. But yeah. I tried to be uh, in a play in high school because they said it was going to be a lot of dancing. Yeah. I can't sing either. And so I tried out and I got in it. And I yeah. was like in the chorus on stage night, I got locked in the closet. <laughs> and the only person who had a key to it was the guy the on stage yeah. oh. so I had to stay in there until um, intermission the, oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that <laughs> <laughs> you were trapped in the closet I was trapped in the closet <laughs> You're trapped in the closet <laughs> <laughs> that's wild I mean that the FOMO for that because you can't I mean you can't really be disappointed unless you did you purposely trap yourself in a closet? No, you wanna, no. Yeah. I was just in looking at the wardrobe stuff because it was like, oh, I never get to look at this stuff. And some <laughs> girl just came by and had like a padlock and she just locked mm. it for some reason. And she was like, I was just playing with it. I don't know. Maybe it was a whole setup. I she never was thought like, about yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> like, but, like, dude, when we say she can't sing, <laughs> it's like, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to just lock her in a closet tonight. They like, were rehearsing that, like, yeah. secretly. <laughs> At rehearsal, I there was a. I remember yeah. I was lured in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like Ansley, can, can you go get a cape in the back? She yes. loves. Yeah. She loves capes and colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chakra open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Le Maire. Uh, so okay, that was so the first uh, chakra, the, the fear chakra, was the butthole chakra. The the, the we, we got that open. The next one was the pelvis. It's the pleasure chakra, the, the associated with guilt and shit. Now, uh, damn, the, dude, the, the most disappointed <laughs> in itself, you know, that's your self esteem and, and and your gut. That's you know, yeah. We're moving along, and this is now we're in the heart chakra, Lemare. Mm-hmm. We just got to the heart chakra, and so uh, the question here is, what have you learned from grief? That it only lasts for a little bit of time. It seems to be pretty yeah, standard, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, uh, well, not, I'm not going to make any assumptions. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is the experience that makes you, like, where does that lesson come from? Dead girlfriend. Okay. That's <laughs> what I, I don't want to jump, jump, jump the gun. I don't want to jump the gun. But what if it wasn't that? What if it wasn't <laughs> that? <laughs> My mom and dad's divorced. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It could have totally been, been that. You're right. No assumptions. <laughs> Do he, he black? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, black, black histories are fucking tragic, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, black yeah. biopics, they're so fucking sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking, all right, I don't know if this is, uh, I wanted to make a uh, biopic about Al Jolson, like the fir- the black guy in blackface. I want to make a biopic about him. The, f- the black guy in blackface? The face? black guy who did blackface, Al Jolson. Yeah, I don't know. No, are we, do you want to cancel him? What are, you, what are we doing? No, here? I want to like. I don't know because I feel like that's something like people like blackface is all bad, but no, there's also like no, there was minstrels who like made a living doing blackface because they this is all they could do. Like it's a it was a form of entertainment where people there are some people who did it like well, like some of those people should be, you know. I'm not saying blackface is good. I'm saying the art of blackface was that cool. it was an art. Yeah, it was an art. It's an interesting case you're making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting case you're making. Because it, it was. <laughs> I don't know. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's I just agree fools. It should be celebrated. I think white people should be able to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's not about the celebration. Celebrate black it's art. about the like. Celebrate black art. There's like there's like a. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think white people should celebrate black art? Yes or no? Do you think white people <laughs> should be allowed to celebrate black art? That's yes. all I'm asking you. You're, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> You, yeah. White people should be able to do blackface. It's fun. <laughs> Dude, have you ever done well, blackface? Well, have you no, ever done blackface? No. I wish. But no. you, you don't do it though for like weird cultural reasons. Yeah. Right? It looks fun. Yeah. Right? When, when like what? Painting when your like, face and acting away. Like, yeah. it's, like because I don't do blackface, I've never painted my face yeah. for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah I don't yeah, do yeah. green face either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never even had the little tigers on your face? Nope. <laughs> nope. There's too yeah. much paint in my face. <laughs> For the for the culture, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, Lemaire, we're going into the throat chakra now. 
And uh, wait, is my heart open? I think that's it. I think that. I think we established that. I think we established that right. <laughs> in the information stage of the podcast. In the uh, no, but that that's uh, so. I mean, are you? Uh, well, I'll ask this question. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Um, I'm sure you still miss yeah. her in your life. Like that. That. Yeah. It's hard to replace a first. Like my first best friend chick, yeah. you know, that I'm with, yeah. type of thing that's supportive. It's like that seems like a magical experience. Yeah, like, now I'm 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 lucky enough to to be with that person. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so I couldn't. Uh, it's probably why I want to walk away from this. Yeah, yeah. Grief doesn't last forever. Like, no. does it? Do you feel like grief is gone then? Like, do you replace it with something else, or like what happens like when it's over? There mm. you go. I feel like okay. See why I shut up when <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's like gone or over. It's just like a you just it's like um sometimes you experience like new grief. Like one time I was just like driving past her house in Lancaster and I just started to cry. And I was like, Why am I and I was like, Oh and then like the next time I did it, I could just I'm good at driving I can just drive it's just a now it's just a spot now. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like I don't know. So it's that initial painful yeah. situation like that, like when you feel like you feel like your heart's like yeah. Yeah. it doesn't last forever. Yeah. I'm like I'm I'm laughing at the idea of him like trying to dissect why he cried on that drive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And he's like going back looking at landmarks like he was like, Well, and I drove past my ex girlfriend's house, but then I went past that bakery and it was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Those bagels were really good yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's you know, that Matt, Matt uh, when he was on here, when Matt McCusker was on here, he has something really interesting for for grief, you know, because he has mm-hmm. also this master's in sociology, so he, he had something really cool to offer, which was let go of something small. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you know, you know, if you can let go of, you don't have to forget them, but you have to let go of certain acts. Yeah. You're not going to be able to stop at her house yeah. and like kick it with her anymore. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. <laughs> you have to just be like, uh what we did was fun, but it's not gonna happen anymore. Yeah. And and have you I guess that's the question I was asking. Have you accepted that? Yeah. Yeah. And are you yeah. still able to honor her memory and enjoy her 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 impact on your life without you know, calling your new girlfriend her name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. that, that's, that's, you know, no, that, yeah. that is, that is a, that is a, um, it's a part of who you are. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm sure, uh, what, I, I don't know. It's, um, how would, early in new relationships do you tell them that you had a girlfriend that passed? Sometimes I don't, I don't think I say anything. I don't know why. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't say anything. <laughs> it's like, you know that old trope about the one that passed away? <laughs> boy, boy, do I got a digger for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, that, I, I think sometimes you might not want to give somebody something to compare themselves to. Or like, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's not something anybody. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's fair for them if I'm yeah. like, yeah, this, yeah. Well, yeah. Sh- yeah. So there's so much we could have had so much. Now you got to live up to what we could have had. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And that's not because you compare somebody with you compare somebody uh, to the potential. Then the potential is always yeah. going to win. Yeah. 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 Yo, potential beats all. That's uh, let me just say for getting weird yeah. text messages. I apologize. Nope, we're good. And then um, just why is our dog acting like this? Oh, wait, <laughs> <laughs> so dog texting us. Hey, you, I know. I was like, okay. Dude, why is my fucking returning? These are some <laughs> sick memes. <laughs> you can just like them. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, Lemaire, heart chakra open. Yes. Right. Yeah. Next chakra, throat chakra, Lemaire. What is your favorite lie to tell? And extra karmic points if you divulge a lie that is currently in rotation. Hmm. I don't really lie. Is what they all say. <laughs> 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 Except for this one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what they all say. And it's like, no. damn, the girl is watching. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't lie. I don't. I'll tell the truth all the time. You've never you know, lied? Not like since 
<laughs> no, I don't lie. Like, Since when? I haven't. I don't lie. Like when I turned like twenty five, I tried to stop lying. What was, was there a big lie at twenty five, or you were just like this? No, I was just like I don't want to. I don't. I just if I tell everybody the truth, then they won't have to figure out what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <Fair. that's>, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't like when people are like, "What are you thinking?" Like, I'll tell you. Just ask me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they technically that was that was them asking you, <laughs> yeah. what are you thinking yeah. I'll tell you just <laughs> <laughs> damn motherfucker why you always gotta try to figure shit out without me I'll tell you <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you got tired of that conversation yeah. <laughs> no, I lie at me start blurting out everything you're thinking <laughs> like alright <laughs> so I mean before you stop lying did okay. you have a lie that you enjoy telling here's how I lie I figured it out I personality personality lie like I lie about my personality at work like I'm not who I am who I am at you know what I mean you I'm not khakis to work <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah khaki yeah. version of yourself so yeah. maybe that's why you keep getting fired all the time don't stop lying at work yeah I, you know, <laughs> be I'm, yourself yeah I'm gonna I'm trying to yeah. see, what that, see what it gets you yeah you never even tried you you could probably be the CEO of some shit right now <laughs> and you were being yourself yeah, yeah. <laughs> meanwhile this avatar you've created keeps getting fired <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what is man. what is your work personality uh I, I'm just I'm there <laughs> I'm there I do what I gotta do so I can like get money I just do and then I'll like sometimes I'll get you know you ever like uh, at work sometimes your personality shines through I was about to ask you that yeah like, all what, the time so what is so when it when it peeks through the cracks yeah like what are examples of your personality peeking through the cracks it's just like a it's just like jokes <laughs> it's just like jokes you know like a like a I was working at a mail room and then I figured out like they love people when you're walking around delivering the mail, they love talking about the week. Like they're like, it's Monday. <laughs> you know? Like the day of the week. Yeah, 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 they they literally love every, yeah, single, every time. single time. <laughs> like it's Monday, huh? I think that just tells yeah. you how sad all those people in cubicles are. They're like, yeah. there's another person, you know, like gerbils. They're yeah. like, oh my god, it's Monday. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like on Wednesday, they're like, When is he coming? Yeah. <laughs> when is he coming? Friday, they cannot. They're like, Ooh, Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they cannot. You get all the fun like TGI Friday, yeah. yeah, like yeah. all the fun, like yeah. only two more days till the weekend. Yeah. Hump day, <laughs> hump day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you, yeah. you, so there, people love talking about the week. Yeah, and then you fuck this up. How <laughs> I didn't fuck it. I didn't fuck it up. I didn't fuck it up. I was doing a great job. They just hire people. <laughs> so, no. but you know, yeah. this is your personality peeking through the crack of oh. jokes. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Like Friday, huh? Best day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's your personality. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what you, that's what you're holding back at work. Yeah, that's probably why you get fired. Dude, if they yeah. knew I was this guy at work, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monster, dude. <laughs> you know, sure Friday, I, best day. <laughs> like, oh fuck, they know I like the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they know I like R and R. Okay, there was this room at this at the job I worked. There was this room where uh, it was like. All, all like black <laughs> queens, dude. I'm telling you, it was yeah, yeah. It was just like a room, yeah. And then like uh, one of the guys I was working with in distribution, he was like, "Did you go to that room?" I was like, "Yeah, it smells like heaven." And he was like, he fucking loved it. That was just <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, just like an easy, you know. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then they started like, "What do you do?" You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no. It no. Smells like heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Who, what, so what what part of your personality do you feel like you divulge? Because like, did he know that that was a pervy joke from you? No, no. Every it, we're in the basement, dude. Everybody's making pervy jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't right. know. That's what happens in basement works. Like the, the IT people are down there, the mail people are down there. They're making dirty jokes. <laughs> That's where they. I don't know. Well, it's a good thing you protect that part of your personality. <laughs> 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 yeah. You're right to do so. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure this out. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta open up this chakra real quick. Yeah. What about when you were like when you were 25? You have any good lies back when you were young? 
Yeah. Like, I, I used no. to tell. I'm I, not a I, good liar. I told people in college that I used to be in a gang. Yeah. Yeah. What, did accounting work? Yeah. <laughs> did the books? No. Yeah. But that, you know, it was a it was a lie. Did the books for a gang? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you never, yeah. you never like, yeah. you never, you never like spun a yarn. No, I don't like because no, because nobody believed. They're like, no. <laughs> I remember one time I was okay. I was ten. I came back from Pennsylvania. And I had some sunglasses on, and I was like, I'm Antonio to all my friends <laughs> on the street. I'm like, no, you're not. You're my man. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, you're a personality liar. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You try to just you try to assume slightly different identities. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's, right. it's like, yeah. All right, it's what bit. it is. Yeah. Am I seeing the real Lemare now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I believe I can't stop moving. I'm anxious. Yeah. 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 Right. That's fair. That's fair. We'll go with an open chakra on that. <laughs> so, we'll go with an open chakra on that. Yeah. I I I'm not gonna I'm gonna be honest. Mm-hmm. I think there are some dirty little lies in there. In my life, yeah, I think there's some dirty little lies. I think there's some dirty little lies that you're uh, that I'm like. But I mean, out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know, I don't know you. I'm not inside of you. <laughs> you know better than I do. I don't know. Like, does this Lemaire have lies, or is there like a slightly different Lemaire that we could talk to that has some lies? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, oh, what are dude. we doing here? We're all truthful consistently. <laughs> <laughs> throughout the multiverse. Yeah, throughout the multiverse. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't, like, I feel like I don't lie. I try not to lie. Okay, if I'm lying, all right, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, here it is. <laughs> this is the lie. The lie is. Oh, you couldn't see Anthony uh, lie. If you're, if you're listening to this, Anthony and I looked at each other because there's that moment. Yeah. All right, so here it is. Here's the lie. The uh, only one. <laughs> I'm a little busy tonight. <laughs> that's, my, that's my big lie. Is, okay. Uh, I'm, I don't really, I'm a little busy. All right. So you're a lazy liar. Mm-hmm. You lie about not having, to, so you don't have to do shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. People leave you alone with that? Or are they like, what are you doing? No, tonight? sometimes they dig and I get like, shit. Make <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I don't what know. are you usually busy doing? Uh, <laughs> editing podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Time consuming. Yeah. I would. I'm yeah. rendering. I yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So extra. Now you all know. Extra. Yeah. Extra. Well, it's yeah. L- it's Lemare, but yeah, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Got her. <laughs> and she got up on a high horse, Lemare. I shot her down for you. Dude. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's that's a currently in rotation lie. Yeah. Yeah. That's a life. That's, that's a yeah. That's mm-hmm. like a fucking hell yeah, Lemare. You really did it. <laughs> you regret it see <laughs> that's how you know that's how you know you're about to reach enlightenment you're no, like fuck yeah. I use that lie too much <laughs> I'm a little liar yeah, I gotta come up with a new lie <laughs> yeah. I'll come yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know I do <laughs> usually like Dude, when, he's about to be doing shit I know. <laughs> <laughs> whenever <laughs> someone like digs a little bit I'll be like ah, alright alright okay <laughs> like I yeah. do give up I do give up yeah Except when you're editing podcasts. Yeah, except sometimes, when I actually, sometimes I actually have to edit podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go before that chakra closes up. We got it open. It's good and open before he closes it. All right, Lamar. So this is this is where we get up into the more cerebral chakras, mm-hmm. right? And this is uh, this is your third eye chakra. Perennial. Yep, this deals with your illusions of separation if you're going by the avatar standard, mm. right? And uh, so what are some things that, um, two concepts or two ideas or two things that appear different but you realize are the same? Okay. Like, can you give me an example? Absolutely. So uh, a- an easy example that people use a lot are like, the people on the extreme left, the people on the extreme right are yeah. actually the same fucking maniac. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to use that one. <laughs> that has something to do with dead girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> you ever notice that like yeah. dead girlfriends? You know who are the like... same? Indians and Pakistanis. They're the same. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. There's I'm trying to think if there's like pain that's like the same, like a a pain where you can compare, like you know, like there's like a life pain and then like a emotional pain that are, I don't know. What is the same? But, but that different? is what's, your brain is is circulating around pain yeah. for that question. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, do you have two experiences with pain that you are like, but it's kind of kind of the same pain? Um. Oh, yeah, breaking up and a dead girlfriend are kind of the same pain. Wow. Please enlighten us on that. That's like, I, my brain was like, yeah, that, that makes total sense. <laughs> yeah. But like, I need to know why my brain is thinking that. Because you can't talk to them again. <laughs> you got to let them both go. It's the same let go process. Wow. That's, does that make it, <laughs> does that make it harder or, or easier to no, break up with a chick? it makes it harder to break up. Huh. Because you're like, look, I'm working, not working, but like I, I kind of, uh, it makes it harder to break up for you're sure. You're like dead in her in your life. You're choosing her death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. does that make any sense? I don't no, want to be so. callous about the fact that you actually have no. someone in your life who yeah, yeah. passed. I don't want to, you know, we we we, no, we, we honor the fallen. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like you're choosing to dead her in your life, which is a wild. Mm. Like in a like when let me ask you this question: Does it hurt more to break up with a person than being broken up with by a person? I feel like being broken up with hurts more. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you better not leave. Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what I do. <laughs> yeah. But is no. and then and then also still on top of that. The, the process of, of grieving that yeah. is similar to the process of losing a loved one. Yeah. 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 I think so. Because I remember when uh, her name's Georgette. It was Georgette when she died. Uh, I was just like, I was like mad. I was like, this is how you're going to break up with me? <laughs> like, that's like what I get. This yeah. is how you're going to break up with me? And I was like, why? She, it's not her fault. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Yeah, man, that would be a, Quite a way to end a relationship. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Full body pain for like the last, you know. Yeah. Um, man, that's a pretty, uh, it's an interesting concept to mull around. Yeah. You yeah. know, I like it a lot. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's, uh, I think that's a third eye open. Yeah. I mean, I think that's like for sure a third eye open. Maybe <laughs> like, more. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Got some new yeah, eyes. Yeah, some new eyes. How, how are things looking in that? <laughs> what do you see? What do you see, LeMaire? <laughs> All right. So uh, we we are at the final question of the uh, the regular podcast. Do you have time to stick around for the Patreon? We, I forgot I'm to ask you that. <laughs> He's got to yeah. edit some podcasts. <laughs> 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 It is the, yeah. the Patreon moves a lot faster than this episode. Yeah, yeah, no, for but sure. it's uh, it's four nineteen. Yeah, so we're you, good. Yeah, you have yeah. some time. All right, cool. And then um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you're 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 perfect for the Patreon the way you've been answering these questions. And um, Lemaire, the last question is uh, it's a two part question. The first, the, it's a two two part. It's a double two part question. Okay, All right. <laughs> so it's a four part question. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mini series question. <laughs> this is. This is the cool. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> so uh, here it goes. Uh, one thing you can't give up and why. That's just the first part. <laughs> that's, mm-hmm. that's technically two questions, but that's just one, yeah. one question. And then the second question is what would giving that up mean? So one thing you can't give up and why? One question. And then what would giving that up mean? Yeah. Okay. My brother. Um, I can give up like anything because it's literally just things. I can get more. I'll be fine. I can give up anything, but I can't give up my brother because uh, I love him a bunch and we've been through a lot together and he understands me and I understand. We understand how each other thinks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is he older or younger? Than younger. You? He's 28, 29, 29. Yeah. 28, 29. Yeah. Have you, now when I, so when I was a kid, I went through some pretty harsh mm-hmm. things growing up and there was a time in my life when I had to like, uh, I had to grieve everyone's death. Yeah. 
Have you ever done that with your brother? No. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. We've just like we've just had like just like I don't know, just like events. You know how like you just gotta do like a I don't know, like a you get tight through the events, like things. Our parents getting separated. We moved and then we moved. Yeah, we moved and we were in Pennsylvania. It only black familiar kids for a while. The fuck was wrong with them? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that, so I mean, to the reason why I, I, I asked you that is because when you have somebody with you going through all that yeah. stuff and like strengthening you through that 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 sort of thing, if something happens to them, it would be a huge like yeah. almost dishonor to let that break you. It's like we're going through the process of strengthening against everything, no matter what. Yeah, and then I feel like if anything happens to my brother, it would break me. <laughs> but, but do, do, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. but that would like dishonor the process that of you and him yeah. going through life, strengthening through anything. Yeah, like you have to be able to strengthen through. You both have to be able to strengthen through that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, it, I hear you. Yeah, and I'm not saying I'm not. No, I understand. To do that <laughs> no, 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 I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> you know I hear what you're saying. No. But it's just like I, I thought that was, you know, doing that with my brother. It didn't make me love him less. It made it, and it did make me realize that like I could. Like go on without him mm-hmm. didn't mean I wanted to. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm still close to my me and my brother barely even talk to each other like that anymore. But, but if y'all show up, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah. like we're super close. We're tight. We've been through. It's like we can't talk to each other all the time yeah. because it's like little PTSD. Yeah, you, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like you remember when? <laughs> it's like, dog. Can we stop remembering for a second? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's uh, you know, but what what would what would a life what would you think life without him would be? Oh, dude, I'd be alone. I'd be alone. <laughs> yeah. 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 What about all of the, the, the people you've brought into your life? It doesn't recently? mean anything. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah. 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 It would be devastating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what, yeah. I mean, what, let me ask you this question. What do you think your brother would want for you if something happened to him? He'd want me to keep going on. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, because like, be some people anything. are a little selfish. Like, some people are like, if I die, I want you to grieve yeah. me for a certain amount of time. Like, I have all that established with Ansley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed. No yeah. stepdad. Yeah. I'm not allowed. Yeah. Those are fair rules. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, because he's not like, I don't know. Because he would want me to go on. But like, just like, don't like be mean to people. Do you know what happened the other day? It was Thanksgiving. We were driving down to my grandma's house and he used to walk to work down this hill every single day. He used to walk down to work and there's this racist guy with his dogs. Every day he'd walk, the dogs would bark at him, just barking at Jibs. And then one day he's walking down the hill and the guy, his dog isn't barking. So he like calls out to the guy. He's like, yo, Mike, your dog's not barking. And the guy goes into his room and his dog's dead in his workbench. And then Jibs, he stayed there with that guy the whole time until some of his friends came to, like, help him move the dog. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just the type of guy he is. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. So he's not, like, looking for anything. Yeah. He's not yeah. trying to do – he's not looking for anything. He just wants people to be good and feel good. You should have seen the way this racist man shook my hand the other day after I stopped by with my brother. He was like, you guys are good everywhere. Like, yeah. Was like, yeah. Wait, what's he, what did he do that was racist, though? The guy? Yeah. No, he's just, the. he lives across the street from a clan, the place where they have clan rallies. He has uh, Confederate flags all over the place, and there's just a look in their eye, dude. I don't know. No. Like, it's like, <laughs> no. No, look, okay. You cannot be going <laughs> okay. off looks in no, eyes I don't, no. to declare someone dude, racist. It's just, do, you, do you realize that? Also, Jabri told me he was racist. Hold on. Here, here's <laughs> yeah. the thing. Because if we start yeah. going on looks, if look, if looks in eyes can declare if somebody's racist, then on the, if the shoe's on the other foot, then a look in the eye should be able to declare whether somebody had, like, dubious intent. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. you can't be fucking going off looks and eyes that's, and shit. That's fair. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. That's how we got into this trouble in the first yeah. place. See, dude, I'm mad retarded. <laughs> I said the wrong thing again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, some dogs are fucking just undisciplined, dude. <laughs> Even though you're a good family, and you care about people, you're compassionate, you're doing a sick podcast, where you're opening chakras and shit, and you just have a dog that barks at everybody that comes to the threshold of your house. It happens sometimes. Yeah. 
or walks mm-hmm. by. You hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just out there like Mexicans, fucking Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. She's just like, this is my shit. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Y'all look, walk around like y'all own shit. Nah, my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I asked Jibs if he was racist. He said, "Yeah." <laughs> what is he going on? <laughs> they would talk like after like the this. dog thing. They would talk. They be they became friends. Nah, I need I need to get him in here. I need to get, <laughs> yeah, get, get Jibs in your brother for yeah. sure. He's for sure. His Whether or not this guy dude. is racist is still out. Like I'm not. I'm not having. I'm not smearing an, a person's <laughs> name as a racist. Yeah, uh, he's just a dog lover. He yeah. just loved his fucking undisciplined yeah. dog. <laughs> dude, you're you're fucking enlightened now. You can't be just calling him a racist. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, shoot, dude, I almost got it lost. <laughs> yeah. See how easy it is to backslide. Yeah. Dude, we used to yeah. backslide all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have to start having guests. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, at the beginning of every episode, it was like, so I have backslid this week. <laughs> Here's how I have backslid. Just a confession. At yeah, point. it was. It was. This is insane. So um, how do you feel, man? I feel, uh, I feel uh, light. Yes. <laughs> I feel enlightened. Yeah, I feel like there's a Untethered. weight off my shoulder. Yeah. yeah. I feel like a lot of people, I don't know if people will be mad, but. I don't know. Dude, you're enlightened now. You don't care about that shit. Yeah. I might have them. To, yeah. They have to go through the process now of enlightenment in order not to harbor <laughs> ill will towards people as if yeah. it's actually personal. Yeah. Like you're over that shit, dude. Yeah. You're the man now. Dude, I don't harbor ill will at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> I'm backsliding dude, we, again. I'm we backsliding. Know, we know each other personally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forgot. <Yeah>. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't hold any ill will right now. Yeah, not yeah. now. Not after being enlightened, dude. This yeah. is like all, upward and over from here on out. Do you guys got Jabberwocky masks over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were a gift from Charles Blizzard oh, when, when he did yeah. this episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we got we got to get a display for like some of the stuff that gets yeah. brought in. And uh, our knives, our fucking sick knives. Yeah. And um, so, uh, yeah, you feel, you feel enlightened? Yeah, you feel, feel enlightened good. for that? I feels pretty good. I feel good. It was a good process. That was a good process. It was a process. Yeah. Some of them were hard. We got through the fucking throat <laughs> chakra, Mr. I, I I don't I don't tell a lie. It was like <laughs> I am fucking lie literally <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just this one lie that I tell all the time. Yeah. But um yeah, that was a fun time. Yeah. That was that was probably one of the best hours of podcasting that exists. Yeah. In the universe. That's a good time. That was a good time. Do we get and, to do um, uh, witchcraft on the Patreon? Yeah, we're gonna get into some witchcraft oh, on the Patreon. Let's go. You know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said we should we should tell people a little more about how crazy the Patreon is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it fucking gets crazy. There's tarot card readings, it's tarot, but from the two Jack Bros. Yes. Ansley does a tarot card reading <laughs> That's for cool. every guest, which yeah. is so fun. That's awesome. You know? Yeah. And and we also uh we, we go through a different process of Opening the chakras of the shadow self, which is fucking. Mm. I mean, if you if you if you are an anime fan, you have some idea what I'm talking about. My, uh, you might not know. My girlfriend she did a game. We're doing a thing. I can't remember what it's called. Something window test. Mm-hmm. Where like she was like, imagine you're in a desert and like imagine there's a cube and then there's a ladder and a horse and all of that things like. Like it, my I was in an endless desert with a fifty foot cube with a ladder leaning against it and a horse coming behind it, and that meant like that my ego's really big and that I have big dreams that I feel like I can achieve. You know what I mean? All right, we're gonna go over to the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I don't, I don't scare know. Scare people away from Patreon. Yeah. Let's strike that from the record. That was some weird shit. Dude, it's fucking wild, dude. It's, it's like, wild. I don't know what it was. He's untethered right now. We got. He just, he's just like. He's, 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 it's, not, it's, it's new. Being enlightened is new. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> all right, check us out on the Patreon. One dollar gets you all of the content. Thank you so much, Mary, for coming. Oh yes. Uh, Panties in the mouth podcast. Oh shit! Please, <laughs> yeah. come, let follow. Uh, we have a page, and also I have feud the game show of hilarious yeah. bad decisions. So well, there will be a link to that in the description. Yeah. How do you want me to link to the uh, panties in the mouth? Uh, what what platform? Oh, uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Bam. And feuds and podcasts I'm too. Asking that question because <laughs> yeah. right? like people need to know like the 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 platform that you want people to check go out to. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So um, I don't know why Spotify just. <laughs> I don't know. Do, are you changing your mind? Dude? No, no, I'm not changing my mind. Okay. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Check out Panties in the Mouth on Spotify and Feud is on what? It's a, it's a podcast too. It's on Spotify now. Spotify. We'll put your episode on next week. 
Oh hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're just now getting them up? I'm yeah. I just started putting them up on oh, line. Cool. As, yeah. Yeah. Feud's fun. I fucking rock on that show. <laughs> yeah. I'm so fun on that <laughs> show. Like Family Feud. No, describe it real quick. It's like the game show of hilariously bad opinions. So, like, oh, if you have you a, would be good at that. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm so every episode that I'm on, I promise you, is so fun. Rainy, yeah. Tim Butterly, and Rainy did an episode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun, yeah. fun, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, that was like tailor made for yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, two Jack Bros Patreon, one dollar gets you all of the content. Panties in the mouth, feud. Thank you so much, Lamare. Yeah. Thank you for this. Having was me. awesome. Yes. Yeah.